Red Velvet's six-minute album The Rebel Festival Day One was released the day before yesterday. I bought an album, and I luckily got a ticket to the showcase, so I went to the showcase site myself. The teaser video for this album was a theme park concept, including all features of the Red Velvet's albums, and the fans were looking forward to it. In response to that expectation, the showcase was filled with over a thousand fans. And the showcase stage also had various props that reminded me of the theme park. The title track, Jim Salabim, is a Red Bubble style wish fulfilling song that features a message that calls for a deep seated dream using the word Jim Salabim, commonly used as spellbound in Europe. Red Bubble collaborated once again with composer Caesar and Lowy, who created the hit song Red Flavor and choreographer Kyle of the Red Flavor to create another addictive song. The members showed the confidence and said that the song is going to be really viral and addictive by listening just one time. Red Velvet performed Sunny Side Up and the title track Jim the Loving at the showcase. And they showed the songs of the albums and unboxed the album. In addition to the album's description, Irene said that they will act under the concept of the festival held at Red Velvet theme park and starting from day one to the finale. Fans cheered for the album and said it's only the Red Velvet can make. Since its release, the album has topped iTunes album charts in 28 countries, including the United States. This makes Red Velvet the first Korean girl group to top the iTunes album chart in the US. The title track, Jim Salabim, also maintains the top spot in various charts in Korea. I'm looking forward to the upcoming activities and two more albums coming out this year. Can't wait to see Red Velvet.